what is a variable? A variable is a letter that is used to represent a number. Another way to think about it is a variable is a number in disguise. So that's what a variable is. Then what is algebra? What is this class that you're taking? Well, algebra is the study of variables. And how to do stuff with them. We'll get into what all this fun stuff is as the course goes on. And now the most important question, what are you supposed to do? You know what a variable is, you know what class you're in, now what do you do? Well, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to figure out what this number in disguise is. This number in disguise. That is the entire purpose of Algebra 1. You'll have variables, which are just numbers in disguise. Think of it like a Scooby-Doo villain. At the end, the mask gets taken off and you figure out who the villain is. In a similar idea, you have variables, which are just letters. You'll see X or Y or A or B. And your, your goal in the class is to figure out what is the number? What is, what is x? Is x4? Is x5? What is the true value under the mask? So if this doesn't make sense right now, don't worry. Things will all make sense as we go along. Let's start off with an example. Let's say you have 2 plus 2 equals 4. Fair enough. What if I told you that x, a number in disguise, plus 2 equals 4? And what if I asked you, what is x? You take off the mask, what is x? What is the number underneath the mask? Well, you know that 2 plus 2 equals 4, and you have x plus 2 equals 4. That means x has to be 2. This is the point of Algebra 1, figuring out what that number in disguise is. Let's try another example. Let's say 4 times 5 equals 20. What if I tell you y times 5 equals 20? y is just a letter, a number in disguise. And I want you to tell me, what does y equal? Well, you know that 4 times 5 equals 20. That means that y would have to be 4. And just a quick note, if you see y times 5 equals 20, uh, you can see it in a few different ways in your textbook. You might see it as 5 times y equals 20, or you might just see it as 5y equals 20. When you have a number right next to a variable, sometimes you'll just have the dot removed just to make it a little more concise. What you don't want to do is have 5 times y using that x symbol because now you're in algebra 1 x might be confused as a variable. 
So that is something you want to avoid. Your teacher will tell you to avoid that. A dot or just having 5y, that is the best way to go because it'll confuse you. Okay, now that we've gone over the definition of a variable, it's just a number in disguise. We've gone through a couple examples. Let's take things a step further with a fun example. All right. Bobo the monkey. is scrolling through TikTok. I told you this would be fun. He is also drinking Cherry Coke. And eating Kit Kats. So he's getting energized by sugar and caffeine. The number of videos that Bobo watches per hour can be represented as the number of videos equals 32 times the number of Cokes he drinks plus 18 times the number of Kit Kats he eats. Now, just using variables, which are just numbers and disguises, we can rewrite this equation here as V. Let's just say V for videos equals 32 times C for Cokes plus 18 times K for Kit Kats. And just to be clear, we'll write down what each of these variables means. This is the number of videos. C is the cans of Cherry Coke. And K is the number of Kit Kats. So you're given all of this information, and I ask you if Bobo just finished two cans of Coke. Ooh, cherry Coke. Let's be specific. And he ate six Kit Kats. How many videos will he watch in the next hour? Okay, so the question is, given the cherry Coke that he drinks and the Kit Kats he eats, how many videos will he watch in the next hour? Well, we're given an equation here that represents how many videos he watches in the next hour, given how many Cokes and Kit Kats he has. So let's go ahead and rewrite that. You could use either version here. Writing it out as words can be helpful, uh, easy to understand, or you could write it as variables, just the one letter. Let's go ahead and write it as the word. Let's rewrite it. Always helpful to rewrite an equation that you're given. So instead of these variables, these letters, we wrote the full word, but you can still consider videos, Coke, Kit Kats, you can still consider them variables. Just numbers in disguise. So we know that to find the number of videos he watches in the next hour, 
we need to know the number of Cokes he drinks and the number of Kit Kats he eats. Well, we know in the question that he just had two cans of Cherry Coke and he just had six Kit Kats. So we know what the number in disguise is. We know what's under the mask. For Cokes, it's two cans of Coke. For Kit Kats, it's six Kit Kats. So we can substitute that number in here. So we can say videos would be 32 times two cans of Coke plus 18 times six Kit Kats. And now it's just doing arithmetic. 32 times two would be 64. And then you have 18 times six, that would be 108. Add those together and you get 172. So in conclusion, Bobo will watch 172 videos in the next hour. Good job, Bobo.